Hello teachers and students. Welcome you all. Friends, today in this video we're going to discuss about the very important MCQs on the vowels. Description and classification. Friends, this video is regarding the very important part which is prescribed for a course in phonetics and spoken English which is also known as modern English structure paper first and this paper is uh, really uh, uh, studied or taught in various universities of India in that regard friends circulate and subscribe my channel let's see the very important MCQs on the vowels friends these are certain very important examples of MCQs but it is possible that there can be thousands or hundreds of MCQs on the vowels. So after watching all these MCQs, it's your duty that you have to also prepare your own MCQs and be ready for forthcoming examinations. Let's see the MCQs on the vowels, description and classification. The first MCQ that is all English vowels Vowel sounds are normally dash 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 dash. Options are A the voiceless sounds, B the voiceless sounds, C the plosives, D all of the above. Note down your answer, friends, and this is the answer. All vowels are the voiced sounds. Next MCQ All English vowels are normally dash 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 options are a the nasal sounds b the oral sounds c the nasalized sounds d all of the above note down your answer and this is correct answer b the oral sounds nasals are only consonants next mcq which parameters are used for the classification of the english vowels Options are A, the shape assumed by the lips, B, the part of the tongue raised, C, the height of the tongue, and D, all of the above. Friends, note down your answer, and this is the answer that all of the above. Lips, then part of the tongue raised, and height of the tongue. Next MCQ. What are the shapes assumed by the lips in description of the English vowels? Options are A. Sprite B. Neutral D. C. Rounded D. All of the above And the correct answer of this question is D. All of the above Next MCQ According to the tongue raised in vowel description Vowels can be divided Options are A voice and voiceless b front central back c close open d rounded and rounded according to the tongue raised and the correct answer of this question is b front vowel central and back vowels next mcq how many vowels in english options are a 20 b 24 c 44 d 5 and the correct answer is a 20 there are 20 vowels next mcq what the pure vowels are called in english a diphthongs b super vowels c monophthongs d all of the above and the answer is c monophthongs next mcq the vowels which remains constant and does not glide is called the vowel which remains constant and does not glide is called A. Diphthong B. Pure vowel C. Strong vowel D. All of the above And the correct answer is B. Pure vowel Next MCQ The diphthong is the vowel sound Options are A. Pure vowel B. Pure consonant C. Vowel glides or mixed vowel D. All of the above Note down, friends, very important answer, question. And the answer is C, vowel glides or mixed vowel. 
नेक्स्ट एम सी क्यू द लेटर्स ए आई ओ यू इन इंग्लिश अल्फाबेट आर कॉल्ड वॉवेल्स ऑप्शन सर ए वॉवेल्स बी कंसोन सी डिपटोंग डी साउंड द आंसर इज ए वॉवेल्स नेक्स्ट एम सी क्यू फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ए वॉवेल द टंग पोजिशन रिमेन्स अनचेंज इज कॉल्ड A diphthong B pure vowel C consonant D strong vowel and the answer is B pure vowel Next MCQ How many syllables occupies in English diphthongs Diphthongs syllables A1 B2 sorry B3 C2 D4 and the answer is C2 Diphthongs is the combination of two syllables Next MCQ. In English, all these songs are A pure vowels, B long vowels, C strong vowels, D front vowels. Note down your answer, friends. These songs are all these songs are B long vowels. Next MCQ. The English these songs are divided into dash 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 A centering these songs, B closing these songs. C both A and B, D none of the above, and this is the answer that both A and B. Next MCQ, the glide of the tongue is diphthong. The tongue glides towards the received pronunciation E and U are called A closing diphthongs, B centering diphthongs, C opening diphthongs, D closing diphthongs, and friends. gliding towards e and u are called a closing diphthongs next mcq the closing diphthongs are gliding towards received pronunciation e u are also called very important question they are also called a falling diphthongs b rising diphthongs c centering diphthongs d all of the above and the correct answer of this question is b rising diphthongs and next mcq the glide of the tongue is diphthong the tongue glides towards the received pronunciation a are called dash 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 closing diphthongs opening diphthongs centering diphthongs closing diphthongs and the correct answer of this question is c centering diphthongs friends Again I humbly request you subscribe and circulate. Next and last MCQ. Friends, these are only an examples. There can be hundreds of MCQs on vowels, on three tone label description, on various parts and uh, about the uh, pronunciations of various words. There can be MCQs. So, it's your duty. The rising diphthongs gliding towards the received pronunciation A are also called A falling diphthongs, B rising diphthongs, C centering diphthongs, D all of the above. Friends, all are called falling diphthongs. Thank you, friends. I conclude this video with the beautiful quote of Rabindranath Tagore: "The highest education is that which does not merely give us information." but makes our life in harmony with her all existence thank you one and all circulate and subscribe we'll meet again in next video thank you very much friends thank you